Welcome to another TIBCO video tutorial. This is Jason Semeliano from Smarter Incorporated. In today's tutorial, I'd like to teach you about global variables in TIBCO application development. However, before I move into the tutorial, let me just take a little bit of time to thank all of our supporters. Thank you so much for your wonderful comments. You've indicated how helpful these videos have been to you and how much you appreciate our efforts in creating these videos. Those comments mean the world to me and they serve as inspiration for me to continue creating these videos for you and helping you in your growth to become TIBCO developers. I hope through these videos you'll get to see how wonderful of a tool TIBCO is for system integration projects how it increases pr developer productivity and many other advantages you'll see in these videos, demonstrated in these videos. Thank you for your comments. I hope to get even more comments from you in the days to come. I really, really appreciate them. So with that said, let's move on to our today's tutorial about global variables in TIBCO application development. Please follow along with me into our TIBCO designer tool. This is the Smarter TIBCO Tutorials project that we've created in previous tutorials. I'd like for you to move with me into the detect file changes process definition that we created in a previous tutorial called detect file changes. If you haven't already watched that, I encourage you to watch that tutorial first prior to watching this one. Move, al move along with me into the global variables tab in the left hand side of the TIBCO designer tool. You will see here that there are numerous global variables that are created by default when you first create an empty project. Let me explain what global variables are and what are their advantages. So let's move on to that first point. What are global variables? Very simply, global variables are static variables in your project. You can only set their values during design time, meaning that you can only set their values before your processes are running. When your processes are already running, when you are already in runtime mode, you can no longer change the values of your global variables. So make sure you keep that point in mind. Secondly, what are the advantages of global variables? If you take a look here at the file polar activity, you'll notice that in the previous tutorial, I just hard coded values into the activity. Now, if you were, if you need these values in multiple places in your project, then you would have to hard code them into multiple places in your project if you do not use global variables. However, if you were to use global variables, if you put these values into global variables, you can use those global variables in multiple places in your projects. That way, you can just change the values in the global variables and instead, instead of changing the values into the multiple places in your project. That's the first advantage of using global variables. Secondly, the second advantage of using global variables is that when you finally deploy your application in TIBCO Administrator, TIBCO Administrator has a feature there that lets you change the values of your, your global variables. And that's really nice because you can take the same application and deploy it into your development environment. And then you can take that same exact application and deploy it into your testing environment and then into your production environment. And you don't have to change the application at all. You use the same exact application using global variables. And all you have to do is change the global variables in TIBCO Administrator. For example, surely the database parameters for develop the development environment will be different from the database parameters of the production environment. You don't want to change those in your code in TIBCO Designer. You, act you just want to use global variables to hold those values and then change those values in TIBCO Administrator when you finally deploy the project. So that's the second advantage of using global variables in your project. So with that said, let me show you how to create global variables and how to use them in your TIBCO Designer tool. We are going to modify our file polar activity here to use global variables. So before we can do that, we have to create the global variables first. We're going to create two global variables, one to replace this value of C colon backslash in the file name, and then another global variable to replace this number two in the in the polling interval field. 
So let follow along with me into the global variables section here on the left hand side. Do you see this pencil button here? It's called the open advanced editor. Click on that button that will let you modify your global variables in your project. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new group here. I'm going to call the new group Smarter Tibco Tutorials. So follow along with me here. I'm going to give it the same name as the project. Smarter Tibco Tutorials, press enter. I'm giving it the same name as the project to distinguish my custom global variables from the existing global variables that comes with a default new project. So follow along with me. Underneath the Smarter Tibco Tutorials group, we're going to create another group. We're going to call this one directories. Press enter. Underneath the directories folder, we're going to create a global variable. Click on this middle button here called add a variable. We're going to call this one output directory. Press enter. In the value field, we're going to put there C colon backslash. Press enter. We're going to create another group underneath the Smarter Typical Tutorials group. We're going to call this one Time Intervals. Press Enter. Underneath the Time Intervals group, we're going to put in another variable. We're going to call this one File Polling Interval. For the File Polling Interval, let us set a value of 2. Press Enter. So your global directory, global variable structure should look like this. Two global variables, output directory, and file polling interval. When you have that done, click OK, and then save. Let us now move on to our file polar activity, and we are going to replace the C colon backslash that is hard-coded in the file name field with a global variable. So delete that portion and leave the cursor be just, just before the PO so that you can, when you drag the global variable over to the text box, it will place the global variable where the cursor is located. So with that, follow along with me and drag the output directory global variable into the file name field, just like this. Let go. And you will now see a global variable right before the PO that replaced the C colon backslash that was hard coded. For the file polling interval, you will notice that there is a toggle button here that will let you, it, when you click on it, it'll now let you put in a global variable. Some text boxes are like that, that you have to click on a toggle button first before you can put in the global variable. So after you click on the button, drag the file polling interval into the file polling interval text box and now you have a global variable there, which is the file polling interval. Click apply and save. So we're now, we're now done with our file polar activity. Let me show you another way that you can put in global variables into your activity. Go into the write to log activity. We are going to put a global variable into message code. We're going to use the global variable called deployment in, for your message code element. If you were to try to drag over the deployment global variable from here over to message code, it doesn't work like that. So what you have to do, do you see this global variables node here in the process data section? Expand that and then drag over the deployment global variable into the message code. Now you have the deployment global variable in your message code element click apply and then you click save so I've shown you two ways to use global variables you can drag it from this portion here into your file polar if it if it's not if it's something that does not let you use the XPath formula builder that's what you have to do however in a an activity where you can use the XPath formula builder in an element you have to use the process, the global variables in the process data section. So that's how you use global variables. I've explained to you the reasons why you should use global variables. So it is good.
programming practice in TIBCO Designer to always use global variables instead of hard coding values into your activities. Stay away from hard coding values into your activities because that is bad programming practice in TIBCO Designer. So that's all for today. If you were to run this process, you'll get the same exact result as before we put in the global variables, but this time we're using global variables, which is a very good thing. Thank you so much for watching today's tutorial. Again, this is Jason Semeliano from Smarter Incorporated. I look forward to more of your comments regarding this tutorial. Thank you. Have a nice day. Take care.